Greetings, fellow specters, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Outpost Zero, Episode 10, Under Siege. Hold force open door uh, for this one? Yeah, I should. Uh, yeah, man, you go prop that open. That way, if it's a traditional raid, I know how they're breaching. So for those that don't know, when you have raids that aren't sappers or breachers that use doors, if you don't have a valid path, into your base, they will make one. So it's best to have one as like a bait or lure or whatever you want to call it, because that way it will be predictable how they attack you. Whereas if you don't have that, they will just attack you however they please, which is to Kool-Aid Man bust through your walls and that does more damage most of the time. So why are you moody? Ah, oh, you're being re-roughed. Well, get used to it. Cheers. Is there any wildlife that produces milk? Muffalo? There's not even muffalo here. I guess eggs, but I'm not. There's no regular egg layers out there either. Because another thing is rough is really good with animals. So if I have the ability to have egg layer or milk production, um, that would allow me to make colonist meals. Colonist meals require animal products to make, which is eggs or milk or jelly. But, you know, I don't think we're going to be farming bugs. There's already enough enemies to fight. I don't need to manufacture new enemies. Mega slots give wool, sure, but they're very untrainable and they eat a lot, so I don't really feel like doing that. Steel is a problem. Is there a steel site? Out? No, they're all wood sites. Cool. Uh, we still have the hostages, but I have 15 days on that, so no rush. There was a female muffalo? Was there? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. So rough. Or alternatively, yeah, man, I don't care which. Go try to do that. And then that also means that I need some sort of ranch. Um. If I had a wall here, this area wouldn't be terrible for a ranch. I think I'll probably put the ranch around here. So what kind of stone do I have? I have a lot of slate. So how about... Is there a um, geothermal vent? Yeah, there's a geothermal vent here for a barn. Perfect. Uh, let me relocate the ranch over here to where the I can easily set up a barn. So... I can have a barn with vents that vent to it. Meaning this will be prefab wall with prefab vents. And then some sort of animal enclosure. Maybe I'll have it flush up here. Plenty of room for expansion. And then for this, just a cloth flap. Done. Little ranch, kind of, kind of a big ranch, for one milk, milk. I probably don't want to cut everything because that will kill the ranch grazing. There we go. Dromedaries uh, can be milked as well. True. True. That's yeah. I don't, I don't think there's going to be dromedaries on my uh, forest tile though. So. Although they can, I'm not going to find any. I don't think. Donkeys can't be milked.
For caravanning? Uh, caravanning is not really going to be an issue once I have a, a Kodiak. When I have a Kodiak, caravanning is not a thing anymore. So, I'm not going to worry about caravan animals for that reason. How have you not found anything? Jesus! You've been scanning for like days and days and days and you're so bad at it and you're not getting any better at it and it's driving me up the wazoo. Shell bell. You want to start researching too? Any of my original Pathfinders would make perfectly fine researchers given their uh, talent and passion. Don't get stopped. You failed, but hey, at least you didn't get stopped. Man, Icarus in the... Um, in the Alliance dress jacket, it looks like her own skin because her skin color is the same. It's a little confusing. It makes it look like she's a Protheon nudist or something. I don't know. Did I put a gate in front of the vents? I did not. Uh, I do need a gate. So I'll put a gate here. Make it a wooden gate. And then I'm probably eventually going to want to path out that way so we don't have to run forever. And then I also need uh, a pen marker. Stick that in there as well. It's going to be a while until that's operational. The barracks is coming together. We're obviously waiting in just prefab components. Don't worry, Glitch. We're patient. Take your time. Yes, there's not a lot of other work to do, so I might as well just keep allowing them to uh, stone cut. So I can always turn the stone into flooring for the ritual room. Make it nicer. Shell bell. Let's work drive glitch at this point. There you go, glitch. Hey, amateur chief, it's going pretty well. Uh-oh. You have an impressive bedroom, but you're ascetic. I can fix that. I didn't realize you were ascetic. Uh, well, that means that the... Um, that the... terrible food that you get is not going to piss you off. Um, here, you, you sleep in there. I was like, what bad bedroom do I have? Well, I have one really crummy one. So, so you're you're welcome. Eat nutrient paste meal. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. You're ascetic. Don't you give me the I ate nutrient paste because you know what? Uh, that mood should be negated by the fact that um, you're ascetic. Wah, whatever. Speaking of which, we are kind of out of meat, so let's go hunting because. Uh, We've been reserving the vegetables for pemmican. And I have like two meals left worth of food. The table needs more chairs? It does, it does. Um, the chairs require prefab components, so they're a little expensive, but I will, uh, I'll save up for those once Glitch is awake. In fact, Glitch, here, how about take some hard drugs? and make some components for us. Don't worry about hunting. I think the issue is that I don't have the steel for components. Yep. So now as you can see, Glitch is going, oh, I'll just... Hmm. Rager. I think it's time. I am going to mine in the mountain here because if there's an infestation in this area, it's perfect because they uh, I could shoot at them from the deep water. So this is the safest place to do um, mountain mining because I just I just need steel. Just a necessity now. I would even happily. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. I think we're going to probably the first node that we're going to find with the ground pen scanner is going to be um, 
is going to be steel. You know, in all likelihood, and we'll just get a ground pen scan for, uh, for that. Lucid, you're out in four days. Heart attack time? <laughs> don't don't you curse me. Bad bad enough luck with Lucy getting an incurable lung disease. All right, so we have meat. That's good. Got my lovely chairs set up. Actually, I have the materials for the chairs. I just need to tell Trustin to go build them. So I have a bunch of prefabs sitting right there. There we go. Wouldn't be terrible to have a chair for the research bench either, because pretty much someone's always sitting there. Hey, Sunshine. Thank you for this sub. Welcome to the stream. All right. We have got chairs. All the other recreation, special recreation stuff, requires plasteel, if you were wondering. Which is why I haven't uh, built it, because it's just expensive. I also uh, vaguely remember reading the bug log that the prefab television might not work. I'm not sure, so I'll probably build it and then see if we end up using it. Because if it doesn't work, obviously I'm just going to remove it. And build a regular one. So one of those masterworks, let's bring over to Sylvanti. And I'll replace it. Oh, we're out of prefab again. There must be more buffalo. Yep, female, 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 female. Wow, they're all female. Sweet. Yeah, I'm going to stop the automatic fuel. It's the start of spring, so maybe it's not a good time to burn them. The prefab does not make a room into a rec room. Uh, it doesn't need to be a rec room because the I do have a chess table and a horseshoe pin in here. But uh, thanks for the heads up glitch. So I guess that's the issue. This is already a, a rec room, though, because in fact, it's not even a dining room because of the briefing table. I might want, um, oh, we got mech breachers. Uh-oh. Where? Oh, God. Okay. Three thumpers? Oh, man. Oh, okay. I'm going to assume that they breach and plan accordingly. Oh, right. The muffalo don't... Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. They are just wool only. We'll have to wait for farm animals to from uh, New Canton. Plasteel delivery? Nope. There's no centipedes in here. Unless I get lucky with their death. Unfortunately. But, trust in, you can hack one of them. Uh, let's get uh, Rager out here to tank, though. Jesus! Ow. My sabotage has a small range, so I have to go get close, which I do not like. Get cover. Some self-preservation, please. Oh, they're aiming at you, Trustin. Get cover. All right, cover. Uh, let's just lance this cluster down. 
and then trust and you'll get the sab on that one. There we go. Get cover, get cover, and lance this group. Get, move, Jesus, shove out. You have a death wish? My goodness. Cover, cover, cover. Lance. All right, Shovel, you're out of range for all of them, so just sew your leg back on. Icarus, you have Vodic Throw. Let's get you a little closer. I might actually want to turn Icarus into melee um, so that shield belts are fine. All right, so I have... Um, let me fall back, tactical retreat here, because I have the Scythers on me. And then Trustin's uh, Sabotage? No, still on cooldown. If I'm uh, having a power outage, nope, Lucid still has power to that. Good. Oh, get freaking. You're a bullet sponge if I've ever seen one. Was this for yeah it was forced good it's fine so I expect part of this wall is gonna get um, knocked out unless I could get the termites with a lance it's one of them all right now it's operation keep shell bells limbs Sewn on. Icarus, I'm going to try to line you up with a botic throw. I can get you line of sight sighted, which is hard to to get. I'm trying to think of what I can power down. What I really need is um, I need a, a dead cable here so I can turn off all the research at a whim. So they're working on our walls now. I think the most dangerous for us at the moment is um, the Scythers, because I don't want to get sliced up by them, so isolating Scythers oh, hole in the wall isolating Scythers is in my best interest, and Pikemen too come on, throw, 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 throw why can't I throw? do you not know how? is something going on with you? Something might be going on with her. She might not know how to actually throw. All right, they're coming through. Icarus, move! Oh, perfect. Rager, throw. No, she can throw now. Okay, cool. I guess I just didn't have a line of sight even though it looked like I did. Uh, so all they have left is one pike. Easy peasy. Uh, let me actually watch this. Yoink! And I believe we're in the clear. Yep. Whew! Uh, no plasteel out of that. Trust in Preach Health to Shell Bell. But we survived and we didn't lose any organs. Even though Shell Bell offered her organs up as sacrifice and almost lost a leg. Almost, but not quite. Sounds like the biopod is back up and running. More power generation would be nice? Yes, it would. I just can't afford it. Someday, someday, Sunday. Well, I'll have this built for if I ever get farm animals. Maybe, maybe I'll have um, space cows or something. Yoda. That's yours, and this is mine. Treats for both of us. Plenty of meat. 
Uh, if you want to know what I'm doing for biotech, it's on my website, radomot.com. It's uh, in the announcements. Uh, I suspect I'm going to get asked that a lot. For this one time, I can paste it in. Um, actually, it's past the character limit, but look at the announcements uh, October 6th on radomont.com if you want to know my plans for, uh, for biotech. And thank you for asking. I appreciate that you're excited. Poor glitch. So, let's have dead power at the manufacturing bench as well. So that I can power these down remotely when necessary. Maybe you have one over here and over here. I'm going to suspend the stone blocks so that maybe we do more research. It's good resources. Oh, who's starving? Savanti? Go eat then. Why are you blaming me? You got food available to you. All right, barracks is looking pretty good. They're really coming together. Thumbers give a little bit of plasteel. True. True, true. There's a chance that any mechanoid that you kill uh, will die and, like, give you plasteel upon death. It's just... You, it's no guarantee. It's chance. So loose is out in two and a half days. I cannot wait. Having my full-time researcher back. So it looks like my batteries are draining out. So let's turn... Oh, I never made that dead power? Oh, come on. Well, she's using the bench, so I'll let her have it. Just going to turn everything else off. So what about changing, the, uh, changing this into the dining room? Yes. Um... I would need a prefab table. So maybe I'll get rid of the briefing table altogether and do a prefab 2x4 so that uh, this can be designated as a dining room. Because I don't think it has been. No, no, it has been. It, it's been working as a dining room, even though it says rec room. Slightly impressive dining room. This is a slightly impressive room. So yeah, I guess it's fine. A little bit of a ran out that I'm trying to avoid so that Lucid's pod cycle doesn't fail. Once the sun's up and our prefabs are soaking up the, the solar rays, we're back to being fine. It would be low-key awesome if um, my planters would actually... Oh, I see what's going on. They're uh, sewing. You know what? Let's have a group grow. Growing doesn't require skill. It's, um, or sewing doesn't require skill. It's the plant cutting that matters. So I'll just have everyone sew, except for Trustin, who I want building, and Yemen, who I want building. Everyone else can just sew, because it's corn and rice, so it doesn't require skill. According to the game. The corn sewing isn't allowed. Yeah, let me get that allowed. And then Shelbo will get around to the heel route whenever it's done.
Flitch, you should probably exempt from this as well, even though you're a really capable grower. Kinda need you at the helm. <laughs> he ate a nutrient paste meal. Uh, I guess he is eating my uh, pack of survival meals. Fine. <clears throat> I thought for a second he ate a nutrient paste meal, so his binge is to eat more nutrient paste meals, which is peak Rimworld logic. Not everyone's going to sleep. Oh, I am getting sieged. By Cat6. They are relatively well geared. They've got triple launchers and sniper rifles. So it ain't no joke. Trying to think if I want to use Go Juice. Maybe? If it's a siege, uh, incendiaries might be useful as well if I think I can get uh, a shot on their shells, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So, Trustin and Shellbell, I'm going to have you guys inject the drugs. Now, Rager can open up with a lance on their shells and blow their shells that way. I think that's going to be even more powerful. Oh, Lucid, the things you've missed. Walling. Regen. So where's the shells? There it is. Oh, you guys are so screwed. Uh, maybe I wait until the triple launcher is next to the shells. Neutralizing him immediately. Where is Trippy? Where is Mr. Trip? Oh, there he is. Castro. He is already standing on it. Perfect. Uh, Rager, let's go. And I got him. He's knocked. Science. Frickin' science, man, right? Oh, you guys are fighting a sorry. You guys are dumb. You could not pay me to fight a sorry. They are freaking scary. Enjoy losing your limbs due to biotic attacks. All right, before they can do a counterattack, I tuck. Uh, the door is open, so the valid path into the base is the long and sucky way. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be funny. Hey, Rager. Yoink! Hi, losers. Close it. Enjoy going around. So they are down. What, what did they start with, out with? They started with 17, 18. So I need to kill 9. No, 19. So I can still need to kill 9 for them to leave, I think. That's the number to beat. Oh, literally one is named Loser. That's great. Don't shoot, Shell Bell. Oh, I didn't see that extra sniper. Uh, let's neutralize with Rager quickly. Oh, no. Trust and dodge that. Oh, there goes my shield belt. All right, let's tuck. For getting shot at. Without a belt. 
All right, so I'm going to go catch up with Loser at this door. And that's not propped open, right? Okay, good. That's a little sketchy because um, Lee can shut down Trustin's brain, so I can't mess this up. Wow, you survived a throw? Good for you. Rager, I want your shield belt back. Uh, Icarus, let's go do some biotics. Come on, pop back. This perimeter wall is really, really nice. I can't believe you. Oh, because you're high on Yayo, that's what. I was like, how is he still on two feet? Yayo, drugs. Ooh, I can fire through the closed door. Works for me. Rules for ye, not for me. Sorry, it's uh, it's closed, loser. Go around. Go around, loser. All right, actually, you know what? I'll open it for you. Surprise, loser! <laughs> oh, yeah. Cruelty is a specialty. All right, how close is... Oh, they're coming around the other side. So let's start dealing with the ones that get in. Shell bell. Pull? Because they're setting fire to stuff. But they're divided, and they're going to be easy to be conquered as a result. So let's go for Jordan, and then I'm going to uh, worry about the in-process barracks. Sorry, lover. There will be none of that. And they're leaving. Okay, so there's a fire in the barracks that'll have Svanti and Yamen attend to. Because it's not a threat to him, them anymore. They're just firefighting. That's not a combat thing. Uh, lose the yellow. What did I end up gaining out of that? Besides a triple launcher off of Castro. Because I'm going to take that. Uh, a bunch of components and steel that I desperately, desperately needed. Plus all the bodies and the mortar uh, barrels and the, that kind of stuff. Cool. Uh, Trust, it looks like you got clipped. Yeah, you did get sniped towards the end there. That sucks. I'll have you patched up in no time. Glitch, Rager. Actually, Rager specifically. Go on the offensive. I forgot that I had a hole in my wall there. So that's why um, the uh, Raiders got in sooner. Rager's going to go try to kill as many as he can. Or she can because, you know, uh, bloodlust. And then, in terms of other loot, I don't really care about the rest of the gear, but uh, Glitch, go... Actually, not Glitch. You should rest. Um, I'll have Shell Bell, once Trustin is patched up, go get that triple launcher, because having a triple launcher in my pocket uh, would be quite nice. Wow, you dodged it. Don't rub my door. Oh, Glitch is going for it anyway. Okay, so Glitch goes strip Castro. Yeah, see, I don't have to play fair. You guys are pirates. We patched? Yeah, we're patched. Twenty four percent. That'll work. Isn't Cat Six Ethernet? Um, Cat Six was a is a gang in in all of the factions here are are gangs in Mass Effect. I didn't create their names, so Eclipse, Cat Six, Blue Suns, and Tiburon Rojo are all Mass Effect gangs. 
I didn't reinvent the wheel, I just used it. Used the lore. And their leaders are the leaders of the gangs. Except for, of course, Mysterious Figure, because nobody knows who leads Cat 6. I didn't make up any uh, leader names either. Rager, you need tending to. Undraft firefighters? Oop, my bad. Lucid, you are just a day and a third out. Cannot wait. Why, Zaid? Uh, Zaid! Uh, Masani... Was originally Blue Suns, was he not? He was the, uh... He is the respected bounty hunter and mercenary soldier who, um, was in Blue Suns originally. He once headed Blue Suns. So, um, I put him as the leader, just because he'd be a recognizable name. Do all Krogan have come with a tough trait? Um, the mods don't have Krogan or Turian or Hano or any of them, so... So I'm going to go with no, because it's not a thing in the mod set, unfortunately. I have enough of it sewn now that I'm um, letting everyone else do normal work. So a breach into a siege. You guys are just so lovely nice. I do have a trip launcher now, though, so that's cool. I should probably keep it safer than just in my stockpile where it could get caught on fire. Probably. Um, let's put the trip launcher here for now. Once, once this is walled up, because this room is not likely to catch fire. Work better, matters. They just haven't gotten around to it. And now with the um, with 1.4 coming out, oh, another food binge. With 1.4 coming out in probably what a week or six days, mod makers are massively super busy uh, working towards getting their mods ready for 1.4. So understandable. I'll just put the trip launcher in here. I guess it's well, actually do we have the power yeah i have the power for the crematorium maybe when in the morning i'll i'll power up the crematorium and and uh and get those new bodies corpsified any idea what is in 1.4 yeah uh, that is all already announced so you can already look at uh, what's in the 1.4 change i can give you the really short list which is um floors walls furniture that kind of stuff will be paintable with tinctoria dyes and there is some quality of life things changes as well. And that's sort of the short list. Like, uh, when, for instance, when you're painting grow zones and other zones, it shows you the total area. Or um, you can uh, blight cut with one click, you know, that kind of stuff. Why are you in con- Oh, really? A guinea pig did that to you? Dang. One tough guinea pig. 
base is finally really coming together. It's taking a long time. Ooh, good. We're going to get some plasteel out of that marine helmet. Didn't even occur to me that some of those people were wearing stuff that, um, that you know, might actually benefit us more than just the standard. So, Glitch, let's get you back to manufacturing so that we can get our wall back because it broke. Oh, someone just scooped all the prefab components. Who did that? Rough. Quit it. I really need that wall. All right, now you can move them. And the shelves stack. Yeah, that's a big change as well. So shelves will allow you, kind of like deep storage mod, light will allow you to stack. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Outpost Zero, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 15th and October 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this was a one-time streamed mini-series. If you would like to catch live streams of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, a special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers, and also viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, my fellow Pathfinders.